Sup? Here we go. Setting up the bees. We got the bee lady. I'd like to introduce you to Taco the Bee Lady. We are going to be embarking on a little project back here. We are going to be raising a bunch of bees and a bunch of honey and this is her game. I'm just supplying the land and the labor. <laughs> and the labor. <laughs> Thank goodness. So we're going to learn some work. things. Alright. We're putting them in a new box here. Got some old combs. Oh look at that. We'll use some of those combs for that one. Thanks. We actually uh, bought that hive the other day, and they are doing pretty well over there. This is so exciting. I've been dabbling with bees for like eight years, and now I got the uh, I got the guy. She's here. We're gonna do this for a little bit. So give us a little bit, and there will be reed farm honey available right here in the nursery. Uh, if we can figure out how to ship it, we may do that. So tell everyone what you're doing. I'm just cleaning out this old hive. Getting rid of some of the fur combs so if they don't make a mess. This gives us a heads up. Lizard. Oh, sorry buddy. Mr. Lizard. It's a half dead lizard. Um, anything that's like a little bulge here, they're going to draw combs off of. So the more we can clean this up, the better we'll have a chance of them making straight combs. Some of this stuff on the wings too, and that you want to get rid of all the side attachments. Wait, did the bees make that, or is that artificial? Like, or is that... Bees made it. Oh, this is the There's bees. foundation in here. You see a little plastic foundation, but they drew out the wax. But that's all made by bees. Yeah, they drew out the wax. Okay. That's yummy. Get rid of that stuff. Yummy and some goo. Uh, building lots of boxes while we're out here. So many fun things to do. Yeah. Alright, that's ready. So we'll do, we'll checkerboard these a little bit. So we'll do a calm followed by an empty. This is a little starter strip, that's nice. That makes them draw them straighter. So we got a starter strip on the outside, a comb, and then another empty. We do a comb here. Oh, this entrance, huh? Where? This uh, yeah, exactly. That's what this one's done too. That's plenty. That's so neat. That. They think you, you might think you need like, here, come over here, Jeff. Yeah, you got You me? might think you need like this perfect box. And what Tucka is pounding into my head <laughs> is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Look at this. This bottom is rotten. You calling so my imperfect box? This is going to be the entrance. And this is just a piece of plywood that I just grabbed and cut to size 16 by 20. And this is going to work for them. Heck yeah, it is. It's so interesting that I'm seeing this the way, like your style is so much like my style of gardening. Yeah. Like stop making everything complicated. Oh, yeah. Just let nature do what it does. If you don't got to pick it up, don't pick it up. Yeah. If you put it down, don't move it. You talking to me? me? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah. I'm, and it makes so much sense. Like it really works that way with everything. I don't know why I've not thought about it that way. It's super cool though. It's neat. I'm glad that it works that way because it really does make it easier. Oh, sorry. Now, what do they build into this empty too? Yeah, What's that's empty. Down. So they'll fill up this empty one too. Yeah. Make a comb into this, that. So this little thing, small as it is, oh, you gotta move. Gonna I'm trying to. Shake it it's gonna give them a little clue as to how to draw it straight. Oh wow! That's really all you need. Like if it goes all the way along. Where, where'd better. that come from? Where this Somebody little put that in there. I don't know who. Okay. Whoever so. had these boxes. I found these boxes in the woods at one of my bee yards. <laughs> Not kidding. Literally found them in the woods. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the bees are gonna clean them out. Yeah. Be all right. Now we can go get those bees. Alrighty. There you go. Let's. Uh, what bees? Let's put these away. Which bees? Those bees. Here's the top. Bees you brought or the bees? The bees you brought or the bees yeah, I found? Yeah, you brought some bees. Just so brought a couple nukes of bees and big box of bees. Um, just plop everybody right here, and this is gonna this is gonna turn into the bee yard. I'm gonna put a hot wire out here too, because we do have a bear. In fact, you can see where the bear has kind of pushed the fence down a little bit. We got to build a big bear killer. No, Elmo is ready to stretch him out. Things. You give me hugs. Give me hugs. Come on, hugs. Big Elmo and some hugs. Good boy.
Hey, I'm gonna handle the bear. Ooh, this is the garden. Have you have you done many videos, Lonnie, since we planted all this? Uh, I don't know. This is the one we really put a lot of work into. Oh, not a little bit of work into, like two months ago, maybe not even. It's popping off now. What you doing, Doc? Oh, shoot! The loof is everywhere. Loof. Lufus. They're smoking on the property, Tuck. Even a hobo fire? Hobo fire. So, the smoke just to calm them down, you say? Yeah, it makes them feel like their house is on fire. So in the wild, if there was a like a forest fire going on, the, mm. all the smoke would make them eat because they gorge themselves so that when they leave the hive, they have something to eat until they find a new home. And when they gorge themselves, they can't stink because their stomachs are too full to get the stinger anymore. Uh -huh. So they eat the honey? They do. Have they been storing? Yeah. They eat it and take it with them when they go. So they're like, they get the emergency signal and then they just all gorge themselves. But they don't the leave. They, can. they leave. Yeah. Oh, they, they gorge leave. themselves and then they leave. Oh, but they come back. <laughs> they don't come back. They find a new home. They go out and they bivouac. They hang from a tree branch. That's in nature, though. Not when you okay. smoke them like this, though. No, I mean, if I smoke them so much that they leave, I might kill them. Okay, so we just smoke them a little bit just to calm yeah, them down. just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Keep everything nice and chill. All right, we're ready. Okay. Have you had that happen? What? Have, Have you I smoked them too much? Yeah, I've killed these this morning. <sighs> Don't say that on video. I mean, it's the truth. Tucker don't even wear this stuff. <laughs> These things kind of hurt. So. I'm not worried about it, but I like this. I've never worn one before. It's pretty fun. I like Mr. Roboto. <laughs> the backdrop song. <laughs> we got plenty of stock. We got the ready to come by some pomegranates. A pile of pomegranates. I think this is real formula. Okay. Oh, hey, this hot wire might be on, so don't touch it. Yeah, thank you. Hey, you made it. Jax, put your tongue on the hot wire. Come on. No. <laughs> Ow. Guys, somebody stabbed me in the side. Hey. I'm gonna go get my uh, head on. Here, you take this. Yeah, I'm not wearing Here, you can wear this. No, I'm gonna go get my head on. Ow. God, I'll wear it. The Velcro caught my hair. There they are. What is it? Bees. Did cool. you just touch them? How many bees? Uh, what you say? If you had to guesstimate the average. How many bees are in a box? Is this this is a nucleus hive or is this just a regular hive? This is like a colony. So you see the volume of bees that are covering? So these frames have no bees on them, and then yeah. these bees, these frames have bees on them. This is about the volume of a nucleus, but it's uh -huh. in a 10 frame box. Okay. Yeah. What's a nucleus box? It's how many a frames? nucleus colony that's inside of a box, basically. And we'll feed them up so that they'll fill out the box. She's so much braver than I am. It's not bravery, it's humility. I just don't like getting shown. I just know them. I know when they're going to shoot. I can block them with my hat like yeah, this. Your How do you know? Yeah. I, uh, it's a partly intuition and partly observing their behaviors and movements. <laughs> so how do you grab a box? Jax. You grab it by the little handles. So usually a box will have like, some type of handle that's on the side like this. And then just pick it up like that, hold the lid down. And burp, you have burp. to be careful if I'm the bad. bottom board isn't attached, it might fall off when you pick it up. Leave that one, baby. We're going to leave that one right there. Yeah, that and one. This one. Should we take a look at You want to tell a story of this one, Lonnie? Yeah, this is the one Jimmy cut this tree down the other day and uh, brought it here. And it's so calm right now. And it happened to have some bees in the tree. So me and Kelly came out. Um, me, and Kelly, Matt, Jax, Madison. And we uh, got them up in here, and I would be 
not even lift that. It was very. Let's fix this. Not I have stable. I have rubber bands. We can fix this. All right, we could do that. Yeah, it's Tugging actually up. it's already collapsed quite a bit. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Pull it out and yeah. 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 Let me look at some rubber bands and then we'll get them in there straight. And then we're, we're gonna need to give them some a comb from over there and that'll be fine. Okay. So we got. Sorry to interrupt the video. I'm just gonna get the rubber bands. You good? I'm not the best cameraman. Just go try to spit. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this apart. Tuck is going to fix it, right? Not a whole, oh, that was the piece that I left on the bottom. Because there wasn't much in it. Yeah, we can put them in there. Yeah, everything we did actually worked alright. They're still upright. Yeah, and actually before we get into this, let's just grab a comb out of here to get them settled. Yeah, Tuck, but how many bees in it? Like a 10 frame box, and they're filled up. I mean, 40,000 or so? Yeah, 40,000. 40,000 per. So you've got it's millions of bees. Yeah. I think they're in the back. What's a hive tool? It's ceramic, it might break. Okay. What's ceramic? That knife is ceramic. Is there you go. Uh, who's got the smoker? Can we get a little puff of smoke on this? Aim just a little lower. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. They might still stick us. Look at that. So they're shrunk down for um, now. Give them another little puff of smoke where I just pulled it from, and uh, and smoke my face. Just blow smoke in my face a little bit. Thank you, that's good. Alright, so this has got some... Alright, where's Queen? I don't know anymore, but she She was had to clean there a second ago. Actually, bees are getting grumpy. They just stung me on my finger. You alright? Yeah. I saw her on this side. I saw her on one of the sides. She's hiding in the corner. There she is. There she is, yeah. Where? This one. See how big she's girl. a little bigger than the others? Uh-huh. Big butt. Well, where are the ways you tell? Oh, you should pick her up. They so don't get she has a, she has a thorax. This part in the middle here is the thorax. And it's big, slightly bigger on the queen than it is on the other bees. Like the back. Yeah, that like button in the middle here that's in between my fingers, that's the thorax. And if you look at the thorax on this one, it's, it's smaller. So mm -hmm. she has a larger abdomen and a larger thorax. So she's going to stay in this she's box. She's going to stay in this box. Oh, that's what you want. How many box queens will come into each box? Or one. Just one queen, ideally. But I have seen as many as three queens in a hive. It's kind of unusual, but it does happen. So let's get a little bit of smoke on these so that they get along with each other. And now I'm going to look for the queen in here. That's good. And then I'm going to shake these so we get ready. There's going to be a little flying. Okay, one, two, three. Wow. Brave. All right. Do it. See if we got a queen in here. So when you want them to get out of the way to look for something, you can just kind of touch them you gently. Drop them right on Jimmy's head. Yeah. That's fine. I don't you care. Just kind of touch them gently and they move out of the way. Jack, Jack, That's how they move each other out of the way is they grab onto each other's backs and shake. I'm getting here. I don't see. I don't care. All right. I don't see a queen me here. And the, me and the bees have an agreement, bro. Jimmy did great with the at the convergence. He was in a giant cloud of bees and he didn't get stung. Cloud? I feel pretty confident in his comfort level. Yeah, those are my, I have my face right next to him right now. Well, you took those two stings the night before. That was like your initiation. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, oh. My bad. All right, so seeing as we already did that, I'm just going to shake these out and look for the queen on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And there may not be a queen in here, in which case we need to... They'll just raise a queen from the eggs we gave them, but it would be better to give them one. Right, I'm just gonna. Do you mind if I just deconstruct this and redo it with rubber bands? Yeah, this was emergency. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down in here and I'm gonna shake again. So watch your face, Jimmy. They really yeah. will be in your face. Yeah, this was literally just like emergency. Get it done. Get them out of that yeah. log because yeah. that stuff was about to get lit on fire. Up to it's your comfort level. Oh, okay. The closer oh. you put your face to the bees, the more likely you are to get stung in the face. So as long as you're okay with that risk, I am okay with it too. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Oh, so them waving a butt like that one right there. See, waving his butt. So when they put their butts up in the air and doing? and fan, you'll see some of them oh, doing it. Yeah, it. this one. If you look right here towards the tip of the abdomen, that's where their nasenov gland is. Mm -hmm. And the nasenov gland releases a compound that smells like lemongrass oil, and it calls the other bees. It mimics the queen pheromone. There's the queen. Oh, so we did have one. There she is. Excellent. Oh, wow. So we yeah. got her. Huge. Now, what exactly did you? You can just tell by that little bit of size difference. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I'm conditioned. I'm conditioned. Where's her this. thing at? Her back piece? Her thorax? Yeah. I can give you a Crazy that you can just handle it like that with no problem. Yeah. Yeah. You, never, you never want to squeeze the abdomen. You can kill her or make her not fertile. You want to hold her? Okay. So there's two ways to hold her. You can hold her by the thorax. No, that's okay. You, know, you can hold her nice by the McQueen. wings. No, that's okay. I don't want to. You you just move her in your no, it's not that I'm scared. I just don't want to. It's a good opportunity to try it. Okay. So you want to grab her by the wings. You fold her wings together, and then you squeeze them as close to her thorax as you can. can you just hold her in your hand. Now don't squeeze the abdomen. Okay, you got her by the thorax. That's perfect. That's even better than the wings. You're great. You got a great touch. Yeah. You want to will she sting? Huh? Jimmy, smile with the queen. Very unlikely that she'll sting. <laughs> And then you can pass her back and forth by going bottom, top, and side to side of the thorax. Very okay? Cool. Can you just hold her in your hand? You can. Uh -huh. Is there a chance that she'll stink? Uh, very, very, very little. The biggest chance is that she'll fly away on you. But she'll stay around here. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Jack's just holding And then out. you can put your hand above mine and she'll crawl up onto it if you want. They usually crawl up. So put your hand up to the top. There you go. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, you really don't have to grab them. Like all the fear, the more fear and rushing there is, the more you upset them and the less likely it is that you'll be able to handle them like this. So um, this is not one of those fun times where I can just put my hand in like pick them all up? You can totally do that. I can totally do that? Yeah. It's a risk again, but like you can totally do that. Are they pissed off you think right now? They don't seem pissed off. They seem traumatized. So how would I do that? I just go in from the corner and just lift my hand up? Yeah, so that you want to keep, you you keep your fingers together Which to keep them from getting squeezed between your fingers. That won't mess up our process right now? No. It's fun and cute. Right? So just fun and cute like to scoop up armfuls and handfuls of bees. That's cool. <laughs> Tuck of the bee lady. Out here doing her thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a picture I saw. For she, you're like in a bikini, just yeah. like coated in I bees. It's crazy. I, I want to do a photo oh, shoot of oh, that. Oh, we totally with like have to a do full that. Bikini, oh, check it know? out, Jimmy. Got a whole handful of bees. Bikini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when you want them to get off, you short, sharp shake. Do they just climb off? Yeah. Especially if you aim them up, they always want to climb up. Like they won't leave your hand if you go this. If you go this way, they'll crawl up your arm. If you I go this way, they'll all, crawl off. I feel hand. all the buzzing. Don't they feel lovely? It's very I tried to weird. tell you how nice it feels. It's like really delicate and sweet. All right, so here we go. Here on the outside. Here's, here's yeah, you can how put we put them on this. the outside of the box. Just angle it up at like a 45 degree, and they'll crawl right up. I need to get a batch of rubber bands yeah, so we can be. There's a roach in there. Yeah, that's normal. That is cool. So cool. It feels almost like you feel like you think they're stinging you because there's so much vibration on your yeah, hand. Yeah, no, but you'll, and the more familiar you get with them, the more you'll understand their vibrations and you'll know when they're going to sting you and when they're not because it feels different. You just have to get attuned to the is sense it, of their vibration. Is it like an angrier dust? Yeah, it's a, it becomes louder and the frequency goes up. What are they doing when there's like two of them like going out of each other's mouths? Like... That's called trophallaxis. Oh. Uh, they're puking in each other's mouths? They are basically puking in each other's mouths, or they might be exchanging pheromones. There's so much going on So they on pass here. queen mandibular pheromone between their between their mandibles, or their mouth parts, by doing that. And that's how they communicate through the hive. They communicate by basically making out and dancing. What about this dude dancing over here, squinching his butt up? Which one? That's just like a, that's just, that's just like the, they're, they're like breathing and digesting and like, so you want to keep them nice and plain and straight and ideally you want them to touch in the center or it's likely that they will build two combs next to each other. You want to keep them all in a nice even plane and the nice thing about wax is it's moldable like Play-Doh so if it's not straight you just make it straight. So they'll connect those probably pretty quickly? Very quickly. If you look at these like tomorrow, tomorrow probably. they'll probably be connected probably. and then within another couple of days they'll have a whole sheet of comb and if you want them to get out of the way you do this like a little pulse mm -hmm. you know, so that you don't crush them. This is so cool. Yeah. 
these are cool. This is cool that we were able to save the. I can't. I can't I'm save really, the hive that you I'm got. very thrilled that, that you found them, Jimmy. That made Dude, me, I found them just in time and they, they almost really went into the fire. Right, they did. They did. They were, and I forgot them. about them the next day. You, I, you've got a way with bees. You're like really, you've got a you natural got thing for it. Well, I came up with an agreement with the bees and the animals and the trees. Because I, you know. You saw the way that Mike rolled up and he was like all scared for you. And I was like, nah, bro, calm down. He's got this. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I just am one. Because Mike doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Oh, uh, yeah. He picked one up and stung him somewhere. He doesn't have it. He'll do that, but he so, doesn't have the thing that you, yeah, that you have. I like, well, I trust you. For not it. everyone has if that. If you tell me I'm good, I don't think Do it bees always have their stinger I'm not always right, so. Do they have the stinger? They always no, have like, it out. No. So you want to see the stinger come out? All right. So I've got this bee. Right? Now I've got oh, her. Did you see it? You yeah. see it with the little tip point of venom on the end? Yeah. That little droplet of venom? So you get them to pull their stinger out by like kind of antagonizing their head a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to be yours. No, hers Once is they in. they sting, then they die? Yeah. yeah if they, they if it bubbles out. If you can even get them to sting. This bee is very young and she probably can't sting. You see how she can't really bumblebees walk around? Sting and die. Also, you can tell that they're young if their thorax is fuzzy. So you saw how much I harassed that bee, Wait, and she's still not attacking me. Rolling right up off your hand. Trying really not it. aggressive yeah, by nature. I didn't want to shake him. I figured I'd give him a little to come <laughs> So what's it, what are bumblebees compared to these bees? What are they? Yeah, what's the difference? This is just a different species of bee. Yeah, and they're, they're, so bu they bumblebees funny. are not fully social. They're semi-social, which means that they can start, the queens actually hibernate in the winter in the ground by themselves. And then they can start an entire colony completely alone, whereas honeybees can't start a colony with just the queen by herself. They have to have a, an array of workers and brood and honey and all the things in order to start a colony. A bee just attack another bee and make fall. I mean, yeah, well, so what's happening is we have bees from two different colonies in this box now. Mm -hmm. So there may be a little bit of fighting in between them, but it's Violence. worth it because they needed the boost in their population. Violence. All right, so Violence. now we have the center of the brood nest. So when I talk about a nucleus colony, if there were to be a nucleus inside of this colony, it would be these three frames, right? And then the entire colony, he's been asking me about nuclei. So the nucleus would be this center piece. Uh, so I'm going to run over and get some pre-drawn combs from over there because we have them yeah, gotcha. and just pop them in the outside to give them a little less work to do, basically. Right Barefoot, running through the woods like an animal. Hippie dippy. The hippie dippy Whoa, bee lady. That's cool. You see that thing? It, there's barely any yellow stripes on that. Thing. Yeah. Neat cool. one. This is some cool stuff. They're working their way off slowly. All these little tips and tricks make all the difference. So we've got these pre-drawn combs and this represents a massive amount of energy because the bees actually have to draw this wax from um, plates in their abdomen that they produce with their body. And that's costly energy-wise. So we're saving them a lot of work and energy by giving them these drawn combs. It also ensures that they're gonna have straight combs instead of making a mess. Can I put this one in? Okay. Well, they just all eventually so come off my hand. These bees, sure so just them. watch you don't crush any in between the pieces of wood. Nice and easy. There you go. What were you saying? Uh, I was gonna ask why I should just shake the last couple, but they're, it's up to you. they're almost done. It's up to you. I always shake the last couple because they take forever because they want to hang out on your hand because you're warm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you see how there's same a gap thing. here? Same thing see happens if you with can See if you can push this together without crushing any bees in between the wings of the frame. There you go. Like that close? Yeah. Closer. Are you feeling the resistance from the wood touching? All right, and then this one too. Get that nice and touching. Perfect. And that's all lined up. And it's good to keep them kind of in the center. So if you go to one side, they'll draw a random comb on the outside. So you want to keep Shape, them nice and yeah, centered. How do you do? Yeah, focus on the up part. Like yeah. you, you don't think about the down, you think about the up. Okay. And that makes it pop. Yeah, I got you. Without yeah. flam down into the box. Here, I'll show you with this piece of wood. Okay. Will they cover my tongue? Hey, I like to. Have you ever done it? I, yeah, I like to trick kids by putting the queen in my mouth. <laughs> you gotta be careful though, because she'll she'll sometimes try to crawl down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can literally like pick them up with your tongue. 
I mean, I've never tried. You're a silly boy. What? I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> Pigs are good. What did you just do? I almost got stung in the lip. Are you serious? This is weird. This, this woman. Come here. I can't believe you guys. You will do anything with these. I was going to do it. You anything. took my idea. <laughs> I think you must have been a bee in This is my life. plan. I wanted to do it. Give me some queen pheromone. They don't want to do it. <laughs> if I put honey on my tongue, they do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything in there? Not really, no. They need food. Yeah, we're gonna mix up some food for so them. They ate this whole thing of food. How much oh, it? quick, dude. That's How a quart. In it? It's full. Oh, you filled yeah, it up quart. and they ate the whole Oh, yeah. Way. Gone. All right, fast. Let's check the other ones. Oh, All right, we're, we're gonna. Babies. Here we go. We should, On to the next. We should have left that open. That was silly. What's that? The dead ones? That's okay. Don't clean them up. I love them. Don't clean them up. What do you mean, don't clean them up? Uh, they, so there's undertaker bees in the hive. The, their job is to pick up the dead bodies and fly them as far away from the colony as possible to reduce the transmission of disease. Oh, no way. Undertaker. That is so cool. All right, here we go. All right. Now we have to go really, really slow. You want some, like, Because it's bumpy. You want to carry him or you want to ride easy? We can drive mode. Just go yeah, slow. Drive yeah, really, yeah. Here we go. We have our new area set up. We're gonna have a little bee yard. We figured we'd do it out of the way of customers and farm tours and classes and stuff. Out of the way, poopies. Slow rolling with some bees. Get out of the way, Ben. So we just freshly flattened this this morning. So we have You're doing a, a great job, Dex. Kill it. <laughs> Jax is a natural beekeeper. Yeah. He is, I bet. Jax has always loved I bees. <laughs> Can I pronounce you the king bee? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, right, go ahead, buddy. Don't stomp my loofahs. Did my loofahs. My loofahs. I grew them. Alright, I helped. I put dirt there on the tree. No, I put dirt on that tree. Oh, the big nectarine. It's about to pop. I'm psyched. Alright, look at her go. What was up? So we're gonna the put these nukes. into their new box. Gonna give them a little puff of smoke at the entrance there. <laughs> Not too much inside. You just want to kind of like put the smoke across the entrance, and then you could do a little bit on top. So this is a very small colony of bees, colony of bees, and they're quite hungry because I brought them from my house and I haven't fed them. And that was all the way down Miami. So they have gone on quite the ride. They do have some nectar and pollen that's been coming in at my house, so they're not starving, which is a good sign. And what is that? And this is a removal that I did that they sealed up together. That they and they, they oh yeah, you can the see rub, they chew and remove the rubber bands themselves. See right there where they can I see it? Where, you know, they hold it? No, where they stitched it together. It? They stitched it there. It. They stitched it there. The shiny stuff is nectar, which is uncured honey, and then this stuff is pollen. That they uh, into the hive. Wow! It's neat how they stitch it together. Yeah, you almost. Really neat. Can you help? Yeah. You want to use this hive tool to separate these two frames? What? Okay, this is cool. There you go. And then other corner, make sure the other corner is open. How do they fill out an area then spread? And then when you're ready, you want to put the frame in? Yep. Grab it by the wings. Yeah, they fill out an area and then they spread it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So now we've got brood here. So this is the capped brood which is, means there's a baby in there, and then you've got the larvae that are the white worms, and you can see the eggs look like tiny grains of rice standing up. Let's look at the other side, see if we can see the queen in there. Yeah. Roaches. Not yet. All right, you can put that in. Try to keep them oriented the same way they were in the original box, so just like that. Perfect. Could the queen be in this thing? Probably not. 
but you're gonna want to stick that in um, in the spot that it goes in, which Where? is this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. The more you can keep them all with their original alignment, the less it will disrupt them to be moved into the new box. There should be in my sleeve. Easy here, right? In your sleeve? It's just, okay. Just go slow. Got it. So just make a little space. Careful not to crush her against your skin. Where is she? All the way up there? Yeah, she's in my armpit. She's in your armpit. So oh. you may have to take your sweater off. Wait, she's going If you lift your arm up, Jax, she, remember they crawl up. Yeah. So lift it up even at a little bit bigger of an angle. <laughs> yeah, you can reach in from the bottom too. <laughs> you can reach in from the bottom. You want me to take over for a minute? Get these transferred while you get that out? Yeah. Right. Here, Jax, here, give me your help. Take your helmet can we find her? Is she, is she on you or on the sweater? Oh, that's a roach. A roach? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a roach. I got bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it was a roach, and I'm like, I don't want to test roach. it. Roach. I do not want to test that. I see. Uh, if I crush it, it's So you see the rubber bands are still getting chewed on this one. And if you look closely, you can see the eggs standing up like tiny grains of rice on the bottom of each cell. Oh, but you kind of have to hold yeah. it yourself to angle it to the sun so that you can get the right viewpoint. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, I see them right there. That's yeah. neat. Yeah. Little eggies. Yeah. So they're nice. hungry but not starving. They have some brood. Yeah. We're going to feed them up. You want to hold it? Minute. See the uh, eggs you're talking about? Yeah. Hold it and angle it up to the sun so you can see down in this area. And what you'll see is capped brood followed by open larva with the fat grubs and then it can and then um, incrementally smaller and smaller grubs down to the egg. No, that's you. Alright, I'm gonna grab the next one. Oh okay, yeah, I see him now. You see him? The eggs? Yeah. Like tiny mini grains of rice standing no, up I see. and down. Oh they're roll they're twisted, aren't they? Are you not talking about the larvae that are twisted up? The larvae are twisted. The eggs are just like literally standing vertically in the center of the bottom of each cell, like oh, tiny grains I of see, rice. I see. See them? Wow, they start that small? Yeah. So how do they get dropped? The queen goes Well, the larvae are even smaller than the egg because they come out of the egg when they first start. So the queen goes around and drops those in? The queen goes around and drops them in there? Look at Jack's right, well, topless, <laughs> working with bees. Talk, the, the queen goes around and drops them in there? Yeah, with her abdomen. It's stuck on this side. So use your hive tool to break it? the seal. There you go, and then wedge the hive tool in between the wings of the frames and pull those apart. How she do that? That will get you along. How does she do it? Just like that. There we go. Oh. So it's like playing operation. You don't want to touch anything with anything else. Jax, you are a bee master. It's awesome. Look for the queen. You see them? This behavior is called festooning. Yeah. It's called festooning. They I hold the hands. Queen. Which way is it? Where is she? Is it like... I don't see her that here. No. Let's see the other side. No, I don't see her. She might have escaped us. She might be on the next one. Alright, pop that baby in. Right here? <laughs> yep. Right alongside. Whoop! <laughs> So anytime that happens, just be aware that the risk of stinging is immediately greater for a few seconds. And the best thing to do is to just hold a little bit still. Uh, oh, that one goes next, so here they go. So we'll leave a gap for the one that we missed. And we have an internal feeder. Do you have any other internal feeders or just no, one? No, just that one. So we'll probably steal the one from that one, I'm thinking, and then transition it into the others. Okay. And just use that because I don't have any extras on So me. the larvae, as they're getting bigger, are looking like they're coming outward. Or we could do jars on top. Like I was going to do that chicken feeders over here. Oh, yeah, great. That's fine. Yeah, so we'll be, they'll be good because that one's full, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's not. They might have eaten it all. Where are they? Like, talk, you see? Oh, nice. This one in particular is like getting big and it's yeah. just like it's swelling yep, out. Exactly. And is so that taking up the whole bottom or is there something underneath it? That's no, it's taking out? up the whole bottom. And then when it gets to the point where they're covered, here I'll, I'll unveil one for you so you can see the biology of what's going on. So these are the fat larvae and then the next stage after that is this, which is where they turn on their backs and you can see the dorsal stripe mm -hmm. and then they start to face up and then after that they start to be start to get shape and so you can see the face start to form here and wow. then when you go even closer to the center of the nest you can see that one's still a little bit old a little bit young I mean there that's the real face so you can see all the facial features of the bee on that you see that the eyes and the antenna 
Almost ready and to be And then the stage after that is when they go purple eye. I don't know if there'll be any on this side of the comb, but their eyes turn purple and then they start to get the color on the... Oh, there the it feature, is. You yeah. see the pink eyes? First the eyes turn pink, and then they turn cool. purple, and then the whole rest of the exoskeleton starts to turn brown and take on its final color. So, neato. Now what will happen to those that got uncovered? They'll die. They'll die? They'll be cannibalized. So that would be like part of the cycle now. Yeah. yeah. There she is. You got her. Look at that. Lana got the queen. Right up top there. Big, sure? big golden butt. Yeah, Can't nice, miss. Yeah, that's nice one. one. Big so you see how butt. they're they're touching it? They're touching her butt with their antenna. They're taking her pheromones and moving them around the hive. So they'll get their pheromo her pheromones on their antenna and mouth parts, and then they'll share them around to each other, and that's when you see them making out. That's how you tell if they like the queen, is if they're all touching her like that. And when they surround her in a circle that way, that's called her entourage or her retinue. And those are the, the bees that are just like following her and her taking posse. care of her. Yeah. She doesn't even, like she literally shits into their mouths and they take it out of the hive. Like she doesn't do anything. She that's never leaves. That's loyalty right she there. She never leaves the hive again after the day that she That, makes. that is legit loyalty. Yeah. Big mama. Jimmy, you gonna do that for Taka? My favorite joke is like, hey, look, it's the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't post that. <laughs> I'm posting this whole video. I'm just gonna stitch the two pieces together. That's going on YouTube. It's happening. I'm not a queen, I'm just a worker. So, know that. I don't know, I think you're the bee queen. I am not a you're queen. the bee queen around here. Can me you think I want to be laying eggs inside the hive all day? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Alright, we'll put that in. You're gonna have to squeeze it in there a little bit because it, you've got some attachments there. So just try not to squish the bees. What's this? It's an old rubber band. So watch on this side. Yeah. There you go, move it over, like aim it that way a little so you're Did not you rolling them. See how that's touching? Yeah. Okay, we don't have yeah, we don't have we don't have quite enough room, basically, yeah. is what's going on. Okay, that. It's because of the way the comb is shaped, so what I'll do, normally I would be done with this in two seconds, but this is a teaching moment, so we're going to take our time. Do you take an empty out? I'm going to move this over, make a little space in the center, pop that baby in. Do you need it to have that many, or can it can it be have a gap? It can have a That's gap, but it, the gap will fill with comb, and so if you want them to draw the comb straight, it's definitely preferable to make sure that they're, they're all packed in there and touching. <clears throat> And you're gonna have to like push the last one in because I didn't scrape the wings. If you so, scrape the little wings off, then it's easier. And then once you get them in, you wanna kinda center them like this so that they're all nice and tight. So is there anything yeah, like in particular, like still people sneezing, there. farting, or like women menstruating, or any like pheromones that we put off that will mess with the bees? They definitely come after me more when I'm bleeding. Um, and the, the, I don't think farts bother them at all. Um, sneezing doesn't work them up, the noise. Sneeze, the shocking. thing about it is they will come, they track, because of like survival mechanisms for dealing with bears, they'll track the carbon dioxide back to your face because they primarily want to sting you here. Mm. That's like Where the area. Breathe and shut like, your like this on my face is a bee sting. Uh -huh. This is a bee sting. Yeah. Like that happens to me a lot because they want to come. So if I'm talking and teaching, they're much more likely to sting me in the face because the carbon dioxide is coming out of my mouth and they track it back to my face and okay. sting me. So it actually does, okay, cool. Yeah, so don't breathe on them if you don't want to get stung in the face. Basically. So that is how you turn a nuke into a full hive. What's heavy? a nuke? A nuke is a nucleus. Colony, you know what nucleus means, yeah? Like the center of something? Yeah. And so the nucleus of this colony would be these frames where the bees are on. And then now we're here, we're going to give them food, and the nucleus will expand to fill the whole box. So what is, what is this? Water yeah, I think that's just water from the box that I shook out to get the bees out. So you got a little hole here and this little bottle. Beater bottle. With a few, what do you got? How many holes you got in the top? Just two? Yeah, that's fine. A couple little holes. Yeah, so we'll have to poke those out with like a little nail or something because yep. right now they're plugged with wax. Yep, yep. And then we will fill this with sugar water and then pop it right in the hole. So it'll drip down in there? And it just, they, <laughs> suction will be created, and then they just pull at it as they need it. Oh, so it doesn't drip through, it's tiny holes where they don't drip through. Yeah. Just... Here Mama comes Mama. the next one. This one is, has ants. That's okay. Too many ants is a problem. So great, a couple ants. This is the nucleus colony. Yeah. 
because it's small. Exactly. This is a new box. New so box. we we it's robbed the one energy. frame out of here for the other box. We did. So it's a lot of work so to swap. A bit, I mean, if you're doing 10, 20, 100 of these there things, there it's some work to switch them yeah. to get them set up. Yeah. It's all a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. But I mean, in particular, like this. Yeah. Hive beetles. Hive beetles. So these are bastards and we want to kill them. What? Yeah, I saw a couple it? of them. These little guys, they all deserve to die. Come here. The bees don't kill them? They can't really. They'll they'll jail them. They'll put them in beetle jail. So they'll create a jail out of propolis, and then they'll put them in there, and they feed them, which is the most hilarious part. They like jail them and then feed them. Like they're so community minded that they even feed the pests that are feeding off of them. Ridiculous. Yeah. Not how it should be. <laughs> Jackson, keep rid of them beetles in there. Kill All right, them. You know what? Actually, thank you for bringing my attention to this. There are a few too many ants on this for my taste, so I'm gonna bang them out. What ants? Ants. The ants will eat the bees eventually if they're like. You know. the bees you You've seen the. Do you want to do another one? Seen the movie, right? Sure. Now, how do the. No, it's grasshoppers, bro. You don't want ants movie? Right yeah, ants. If you the, stick it right the here, ants it's movie, they, the they're fighting grasshoppers, not bees. Yeah. They're fighting all kinds of stuff. They're fighting termites. I think termites were the oh, monsters. That's a different one. That's ants' life, I think. It was. It's called bugs ants. Life. No, bug is bugs' life. Yeah. Ants, the they're fighting the fighting termites. Ants, they're fighting termites. Termites. Yeah, that's a crazy one. I like that movie. Dude, that's a crazy... Like, dude... I think you're ready now. What a messed up kids movie. They freaking have, like, a guy... <laughs> the guy has nothing but it's his head left. Head. He's, like, talking to him, like... It's like Forrest Gump. You want me to break it loose for you, or you want to go for it? Yeah. I think you can do it, but if you want me to take over, you let me know. Yeah, break it loose. That's... It might be stuck to the bottom. So when it's stuck to the bottom, look what I do. I brace my hand against the sides of the box with these fingers, and that gives me leverage to pull up with control. Make so sense? you're gentle, super gentle. Yeah. That's a lot of bees. And also exposing them to the sunlight will calm them. So yeah, it kind of does that to everybody, well. doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit of sun. Bless you, buddy. Because these frames don't have um, foundation in them, we want to make sure that we're only turning them with the access of gravity. So you don't want to turn this frame like this, because it could break and fall off. Gotcha. You, can, you can turn it anywhere you want, as long as it's with the access of gravity. Don't lay it flat. Yeah. All right, you want to put that in? Or you want me to do it? Just keep it facing that way, and put it right on this side. Help me. Jack's the beekeeper. Yeah, maybe we, yeah. maybe we found a little something for Jax to focus on. I love it. Kids are great with bee catching. You want to smoke them? Good call. Good call. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good call. You noticed the change in vibration. That's really good. What did you notice, Jax? getting loud. Hey, what's the most covered in bees you've ever been? Uh, the most covered in bees I've ever been. How much your body? You like let them cover you. Oh, uh, there's a queen. Nice. Probably that video where they where the swarm landed on my butt. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't make them do that. They just did that. No, it literally just did that, and they would not leave. Like I shook, I torqued them off of my ass like 50 times. <laughs> they followed me a mile they down kept, the road what? and kept landing. I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch that picture into this video so you can see it. It's so see? cool. They didn't sting me at all. Did, that is like out of... Like, you know, I couldn't... No one believes me that I didn't stage that. It just happened. I was shaking packages into cell builders to raise queens, and the queen must have landed on my butt, and then my butt smelled like the queen, and so they just uh, wouldn't that's stop. That's wild. I've seen stuff like and that, I but was like... alone. Like, I was so devastated that no one was there to see this happen, because it was one of the <laughs> coolest things seen, that I've ever happened. Like, you never see that happen. Then to meet someone who is actually having to, have that's crazy. Totally um, not in person. Yeah. No, but I would do it if you want to help me do it. We can stage that. Yeah. Let's go I want to see it. that. I want to raise, right, buddy, I want to raise money for bees and we'll call it be aware. Be, be aware. aware of the bees and their needs. Look at Jack's go. Yep. Get on my face. Yeah, you got it. You can also, Jax, you can wear a hat, right? So you see how I have a hat with a brim? Yeah. So I can kind of use this brim as a shield for my face. And if they come at me, watch me, I can do this. See my face? If they're coming, I can block them with that. So you, need, of my hand, so. you need one. 
to add in. I mean, I'd have some of that in a minute, but <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, okay. Oh yeah, no, it's great. Okay. A lot of so beekeepers in Europe will use a pipe that they smoke that has like a filter in the bottom, and they hold it like this, and they just hold it in their mouth, and they blow out of the pipe and blow the smoke onto the bees. Well, that's and there's a, a lot handy of commercial guys it. who use cigarettes, like kind of almost instead of smokers. If any smoke will do. Oh. And it keeps them from going to your face. You shouldn't burn Brazilian pepper though, that's the one thing I don't What's think. Brazilian pepper? Brazilian pepper is a tree that has a caustic smoke to it. It's like a damaging, poisonous smoke. So you want to be careful. Okay, see how I missed there? If you don't align the wings, you're going to miss and then you're not going to get the frame all the way in. So you want to start again because you have the slope here. You want to make sure the slope stays aligned with the wings of the hive and then push straight down so that it goes all the way in like that. I can see that was a So many exactly. things so we just learned today, huh, buddy? Oh, I would have been done with this in like 45 seconds. Yeah. No, I haul ass without without their serving or hurting bees. Can no. you know which order to not? Oh have? no, it would have been fine. Okay. I'm shaking decks. What? I'm saying she ought to shake she ought to shake the box. I mean, he seems really. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I just didn't want. Yeah. Hey, I would. You might. I don't know if you wanted to shake your head like that, right? Or do you? Oh, watch the eyes. So just give yourself a little smoke bath. It'll help you. Yeah. Just She's be not calmer. gonna bother you at all. She just. Hey, what am I here? Party. Right here. You stay so calm, Jax. It's so awesome. I didn't know if you wanted to do that or not. Shaking and swatting is generally bad. Uh, when they get stuck in my hair, Jax, this is what I do. If they're going to sting you, they're going to die anyway. So if you can grab her with your fingers before she stings you and just squish her, then you won't get stung. And it's sad to kill bees, but it's better than getting stung in the face. Because if she stings you in the face, she's going to die anyway. You get me? It's, it's minus the pain. So we're going to need to drill a hole in this. Okay. But can you grab them without squeezing? Can you grab them and get them off you without? Some you speed? can, well, but then they're just gonna come right back at you. They'll oh, come. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some stuff to this. Okay. I'll make another one, and I'll add some stuff to it. Okay, and then we can put a feeder box. Yeah, them. we can just put the feeder, the chicken feeders, on top of these. Cool. Uh, we can't open feed them like that. Why not? They'll get robbed. It's a risk for disease transmission, and because they're so weak, if yeah, other bees come. You can. Uh, so we need to, what do we need to do with this one? It, you can open feed, but it's dangerous because it risks disease transmission and these hives are very weak. So if you open feed this, it's going to draw a cloud of bees from stronger hives that are then going to attack this hive and try to kill it. Uh, so I need to get a hole I saw. I would put a hole in this like this one. Okay. And feed it with a jar. Alrighty, yeah. I can do that. I'll, I'll go yeah. get or that. Or we can just go over to your other hive and steal their feeder. Okay. Temporarily, because they don't need it anymore. They've already taken their feed, I'm sure. Oh, I bet they've... Yeah. I mean, I filled it. Yeah, well, we can look at it. We can go check them real quick right now. What time is it? What, how are we on time? Uh, we're right with my stuff. I don't know. All right, so we're just going to take a little peek at these. See how they're doing. And so when I'm going to inspect a colony that's packed tight and sealed in like this, I take a frame out before I even start, just to make enough space so that I have working room. So why haven't they, like, built home because it's winter and see how this is empty so this nest has sh basically the nest is shaped like an upside down egg and it shrinks in the winter like this and then expands in the summer and so right now they're shrunk down so the upside down egg is in only this area instead of being all the way around make sense so you see the abandoned combs they drew these because they were bigger in the summer and then they shrunk down for the winter they have that little white comb. Yeah, that does look like an egg. Hmm. Looks like an upside down egg in shape. I have this one too. So, we're gonna pull it. so now, because I don't have to take this whole thing apart, because I have a lot of room now, I'm just gonna go right into the center where I wanna look at, and then pry them all apart together because the less you remove wooden parts from each other, the smaller the chance of killing bees is. The more you can just keep it all together as a big piece, the more you're going to not, not kill bees. This is now bee free. So we definitely have a queen in this hive. They're full of eggs. And um, they don't have a lot of brood, which means they probably mated pretty recently. I know I stole this queen fairly recently. This is kind of a neat thing to look at. They have um, young larvae here. 
and you can see them all settled in their pools of royal jelly. Got little shiny pools of white cloudy liquid. That's the royal jelly. Uh, Jax, I bet you'd be really good at grafting. We're gonna we're gonna have you try grafting. That'd be really fun. Grafting. Let's do a little queen raising here. That'll be really fun. Grafting right? like For sure. Plants? Let's do it yeah, all. It's totally like grafting plants. Um, but what you do is if you look closely here, you see how those little larvae are in a pool of like white liquid? Yeah. It's Royal like jelly. milk. So you take a plastic tool with a tongue and you lift the larva out and we transplant them into a strong queenless colony that we've prepared and then they grow a whole rack of queen cells. So it's like nice. it's like grafting with plants, but you're grafting genetics instead of biological material. I mean, it's both, but you're also grafting genetics. Neat. That's the focus is genetics. Oh, All right, so these bees amazing. are these bees are fine. They need food, but they're fine. Watch out for this. See how this frame doesn't have wings? Yeah. So you have to leave room for the wings, otherwise you'll crush the bees. Mm. This this is this wax or comb? Both. It's a wax. It's a comb made of wax. It smells so good. I know, right? All right, and then let's just throw these combs in. We might as well use them since they're here. Sorry about that. Video clipped off on us oh, by accident, you're but fine. we are going to clip this video off. We're going to do our feedings and stuff. We're going to do a lot. See, I was a chicken and I stayed in my suit because I didn't want to get stung in the face. I think I was the only one that got stung. I got stung in the finger. Luckily, I don't really have much reaction to it. But little bear here, fearless of the bees, <laughs> loves them. Uh, we're gonna do a lot more of this. A lot, lot, lot more of this. Um, Cause this That's is fun, super right? cool, yeah. this is super fun. We're gonna, we're gonna have uh, quite the operation out here. This is gonna be a whole full bee yard. And we're gonna be busy, busy, busy bees. So look for the updates, keep keeping your eyes on the bee videos. And uh, what do you think, Doc? How long before we have some honey out here? To be generous within three months, but hard to say. Okay. Within three months, maybe springtime, we'll be able to come get some reed farm honey. All right, guys. We'll see you in a bit.